Hey there, what's up guys? Corey here with Slash Gear and Android Community and what we have just received in the mail here for those that pay attention is the brand new Google Chromebook Pixel. Now this is a brand new laptop Chromebook, whatever you want to call it, from Google. It's completely designed by Google running their latest Chrome OS. Um, it was just announced last week. Um, hit the ground running, surprised a lot of people. And this is a top tier um, Ferrari of, of, of Chromebooks. Um, it's $12.99 out the gate. It's definitely not cheap, but it's got just top tier specs. So uh, I know you hate unboxings. No one really is a huge fan. So I was going to kind of show you real quick just a out of the box experience with Google Chrome and the Chrome Pixel. So right here you have a nice little magnet. The box is very plain, very Google Nexus like. And once you pull it open, you are instantly greeted with your brand new Chrome Pixel and a uh, very simple, very streamlined 10 things to know about the Chromebook Pixel. So, uh, this booklet here basically gives us everything we saw on their, you know, recently launched site. Talks about that 12.85 uh, inch, um, 2560 by 1700, just truly HD um, pixel display. It's got 4.3 million pixels. It's the highest uh, pixel density of any laptop available. Um, it's got a touch screen display. You guys already know that. The whole screen is covered in Corning's uh, extremely strong Gorilla Glass and is multi-touch. Then of course, like a lot of the MacBook Pros and high-end laptops, we have a etched glass touchpad, which should really help. Um, Built-in speakers are actually integrated underneath the fully backlit keyboard. So the backlit keyboard, speakers underneath there, it's got a new hinge. That they're calling the piano hinge that should actually uh, help with Wi-Fi and it also works as a heat sink to help cool that powerful dual core 1.8 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor that is under the hood on this brand new Chromebook Pixel. As well, we also have four gigs of DDR3 RAM and uh, sadly only a 32 um, gigabyte solid state drive in the lowest model, but you do get 1000 gigs of free Google um, Drive cloud storage. So obviously for anyone that is familiar with Google's recent push or Chromebooks, everything is in the cloud. You open it up, it boots instantly and everything syncs. So you do get 1000 gigs free with the Chromebook and then uh, there's also a 4G LTE model available that will have 64 gigs of a solid state drive. But set that aside real quick. And uh, just to show you what's in the box here, you can call if you have problems. A dedicated line, figure that. That might not be uh, Google's forte, but oh well. Pulled open, we have the, the standard stuff in the box. This is your charger, and that's basically all there is to that. Just a little wall plug, and then obviously you can uh, go ahead and flip through the rest of the box. Like we said, there was really not a lot in here. We have a uh, little bit bigger of a cord if you want to extend that power outlet, give yourself a little bit more range. And then safety and warranty information, we're really not going to get into that. But that is basically it in the box, very simple, nothing to it. But it is kind of neat, they have this uh, nice little box here with that little magnet hinge. But I want to throw that out of the way and get to what you all want to see, which is the Google Chromebook Pixel. And here it is. No logos, no anything. It is basically just a in-your-face plain design down on the back here. If you can see that on screen, it does say Chrome on this piano hinge, and that is the only logo you're actually gonna see on this device. And then over here, just very sleek. So, really nothing there, nothing to it, but let's go ahead and run down. We have two USB 2.0s, sadly not USB 3.0, headphone jack, display port, that power cord. Then up top, I'm sure you guys have heard plenty about it. These are lights, they glow, just because they can. Google just kinda said because it's cool. Um, but that also does the uh, couple little codes and a couple neat little things. And it, it appears to be glowing white already. Looks like we have full power over here. Then you flip it over and there's a micro or full size SD slot. Obviously 32 or 64 gigs of built in storage. You're definitely going to want to add more with that. And then right there for the higher model is that 4G LTE um, connectivity. That will be using Verizon 4G LTE. So. There it is, and now we're going to go ahead and open it up. We'll be right back, kind of give you that first-hand look of what to expect. 
Alrighty guys, we're back here with the Google Chromebook Pixel. And real quick, we're just going to open it up, let you see how quick it boots. Um, obviously this is Google Chrome, so if you've used Chrome OS before, you know that once you turn it on, it boots up into uh, Chrome in just a matter of seconds, and you are ready to rock. So, show you how quick it is. There it is, and done. Within a matter of seconds, you are instantly ready, and then you have this little start screen here which will let you uh, go ahead and sign in, choose your Wi-Fi, and uh, from there you're ready to go. You sign in, sync your Gmail, and everything just comes to life here with the Google Chromebook. So I'm going to set it back down here and uh, set up our password, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, and we're back here. Go ahead and uh, hit continue and start on our little journey here, the Chrome OS. Obviously here, a little bit of terms and service, something we're all familiar with. Scrolling, obviously, here on this new laser etched glass touchpad is extremely nice and smooth go ahead and hit accept and uh, you're instantly set to your gmail from there everything just gets a rock in and now we're just going to go ahead and do that real quick here so bear with us and we are back there it is. Within a matter of seconds, you're in Google Chrome OS. You can go ahead and choose from your uh, standard, you know, username, uh, avatar with your Google uh, Google Plus account, and uh, the wide array of different options here. Go ahead and just choose my standard one. Hit OK, and there it is. So right out the gate, there it is. Done deal. Google Chrome Pixel. Within a matter of seconds, we are ready to go. Obviously here we have a full touch screen, so everything here works from touch. Go ahead and increase the volume. Sign in, sign out, go to settings. But we're going to be going ahead and uh, we're going to look at plenty more about Google Chrome here in the coming days. Obviously touching that screen with your finger causes a little bit of, uh, you know, shake from that uh, screen but nothing too severe but this will just tell you all about your new Google Chromebook Pixel display and as you can see it just it's definitely smooth and steady and looking quite gorgeous the screen you really can't tell it doesn't do justice on the uh, on video but the screen is simply gorgeous it really is but obviously you guys are all gonna know that based on that HD display. But that's just a quick look here from Slash Gear and Android Community. Stay tuned for a full in-depth review. Thanks for watching guys.